Right, what's up guys? Nev here. Then this is Wasteland 3. So I just finished the ambush site. You need the first aid. Especially at the start. Welcome, Rangers. You may approach the Patriot. Three. When there were fifty. Cold logic says I should turn you away. That there aren't enough of you left to do the job at hand. But that Dorsey ambush was my fault. And I owe you more than explanations and apologies. So, here's something more tangible. The Dorseys didn't just attack you. They attacked my city. This one was trying to burn down our jail. If you want some vengeance for what was done to you, he's yours. How oh, civilized. Around here, we save trials for those whose guilt is in doubt, but if that's what you want, I'll introduce him to Judge Watkins. He always follows the law. I'd like to bring all the Dorseys to justice. And maybe, with your help, I will. But for now, let me address your immediate needs. In addition to this base and the aid I promised your general, I'll be giving you the resources to return your force to full strength. Recruiting, training, and equipping. It's not enough. I know. The men and women you lost can never be replaced, but it's what I can give you. I hope you'll accept it. I'm glad to find you so amenable. I hope that means mm. we're going to get along. Now, oh, introductions. My name is Saul Buchanan. <laughs> I own Colorado, though you'll meet some who disagree. This base is your new home. From here, you'll aid my people and, more importantly, do the job I brought you here to do. Now, yes, Joe? Pardon, Patriarch. It's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? All right. Sorry, Rangers. Still putting out fires. Two of my best are waiting for you inside. Darius Kwan of the Marshals and my old friend Sergei Gretzky. Go see him. I'll be in when I'm done here. Okay, I'm gonna auto save. Sorry, quick save. No sudden moves around the patriarch. No sudden moves around the patriarch. I need to rest a spell. Catch my breath. That all right with you? Ah, uh, I'm still healing up. Go out and find your footing while I get back on my feet. Oh man, more every day. This place is nice and all. Kind of majestic with all the mountains and wild weather, but it's hard to enjoy it when I know everybody back home is dying by inches. We gotta finish up our business with the Patriarch and get the supplies he promised us back home. People are counting on us. My folks are counting on us. Sorry. I just want to get this done and get back to him. I can't remember if the first two Wasteland games, like an NPC will join you and leave afterwards. I really can't remember. Later! That first aid is probably for him. Probably. I have Major Tom with me. Yes! No 
sudden moves around the patriarch. I wonder if I can attack the patriarch, then they all kill me. Probably they will, but stop. Pleased to meet you, Rangers. Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan, and this here's Sergei Gretzky. Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us, too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situation's under control now. Mostly. Mostly. <laughs> The Patriarch. Thank God they never got near him. He's the only thing keeping Colorado from tearing itself apart. And sorry about these alarms. Something must have triggered the old security system. Trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. How you deal with them is your call. Your base. Your rules. Yep, noisy alarms and all, courtesy of the Patriarch. We can talk more once we get a little peace and quiet. The security computer is up those stairs. You can shut off the alarm from there. Word of warning with those servitors. They tend to go nuts if you ask them to do something. Possible. And hear movement. Okay, I can't get in from there. What's my stats though? Lock making? Okay. what I think I'm better off swapping this with you because I need to level up him more since he's gonna be more on leadership hmm. hard ass no I'm not gonna do hard ass and knock picking Great. 
Well done, Rangers. Good to see the place up and running. <laughs> Major Tom. <laughs> now, where were we? Oh, yes. The reason you're here. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, Valor, and Victory. Two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently, I banished him. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since, but lately there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course, but apparently my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. Peace. <laughs> With those brats, you'd sooner tame a scorpion. Right. I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? Good. Then let me tell you where they are. Victories hold up in Aspen, Valor's under the protection of the Gippers in Denver, and Liberty's raising an army against me somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? What do you want to know? Hmm. Boy's never been right in the head. Since he was a baby, he'd torture cats, terrorize the servants, set the house on fire, <laughs> and he's only got worse. The things he's done to the women he finds. Anyway. I finally had enough and put the little monster under house arrest up in Aspen. I guess they weren't prepared because he escaped a while ago and then came back with a gang of freaks and turned the place into a slaughterhouse. Now he's on the radio, laughing about what he's gonna do to his hostages and daring me to come after him. He, uh, claims he's captured some rangers as well. Don't get your hopes up. Vic likes to play with hostages. Might not be much left by the time you find them. Mm, okay. With these guys. I find them cute. Weird, but yeah. <sighs> Soft, spoiled, fiddled with computers all day instead of learning the arts of diplomacy and war. 
Finally packed him off when he accidentally crashed my security systems right before his sister's little coup attempt. Made him my official ambassador to the Gippers, hoping he'd do to their systems what he'd done to mine. That was a mistake. He took his revenge by convincing them to cut off oil shipments to my city. No oil means no heat, no light, and no food for my people. So getting Valor back and resuming oil shipments from the Gippers has to happen now. Crazy cultists, worship an old U.S. president as a god. <laughs> Trouble is, they're the only ones who know how to refine oil anymore, so we gotta play nice. Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. She's the only one who could actually run Colorado. Problem is... She'd run it as a goddamn slave state. Everyone in chains. Everyone working for her. Wouldn't worry about her for now, though. Best to wait until you got a little more firepower. She's gonna be well protected. At least I raised one. You'd better. Anything else? Uh huh. The last dregs of a treacherous family. Thought I'd wipe them out years ago, but. It's not <laughs> mistakes linger, Rangers. I know that better than most. Possibly, but I know the Dorsey's from the old days. They don't take orders well. Then again, I wouldn't have guessed they'd have the guts to attack both you and Colorado Springs at the same time. So somebody put some fire in them. My staff and I coordinated the details of your arrival using coded transmissions on radio frequencies we thought were secure. Obviously, they were not. And you paid for it. I take full responsibility. I like their sh suits, like holy shit. Are these droids or soldiers? Good. What else do you need? Of course. Now, if you want a chance to impress me and maybe get a little payback, that call I got outside was from Sheriff Daisy, the head of the Marshals in Colorado Springs. She's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do. That's what I like to hear. I expect great things from you, Rangers. Do good work. I'm not gonna pick some ass, half assed answer or like a hard ass All right. answer. Let's move out. Ooh, that was up really? Wasn't expecting to level up from all of that shit. Deer outside. Okay, before I do, check.
add one to barter. That up. You. Awareness high. Authors do give something sometimes. And nothing up here. Oh, uh, cost two. Okay. Yeah, just balance things out first. Next time I level up, I'm gonna dump two the sniper rifle. And I'm gonna put one a toaster repair. Right now they are not running around messed up. Armor mods. Mm, unfortunately I don't have a modding. Rangers, come talk to me when you've got a moment. I want to discuss staffing and recruiting, that kind of thing. Good job, Rangers. Mm -hmm. Nice to be able to hear ourselves think again. 
And now that it's quiet enough to talk, let me reintroduce you to the great Sergei Gretsky, who's going to be helping you with personnel. Okay. Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. But now that you're here, we'll do what we can to get you back on your feet and find you some new recruits, just like the Patriarch promised you. And I already got you one of the best. Meet Marcelo Gonzalez, electronics wizard, radio technician, and former dispatcher for the Marshals. He'll be your radio operator. Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Should help you out. If you want to chat, I'll be in the operations room getting things up and running. Should be more recruits arriving soon. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad? Of course, ask away. Uh, well... Mm hmm Go ahead. <laughs> well, Sergei won't blow his own horn, so I'll do it for him. He's Colorado's greatest war hero. Fought by the Patriarch's side from the beginning, and saved the old man's life about a hundred times, right, Sergei? Mm hmm Seventy-five. Tops. Now, let me tell you about Mr. Slick here. Nobody knows the streets and alleys of Colorado Springs, or the people that live there better than dashing Darius Kwan. <laughs> You're too kind, Sergei. Yeah, I was getting a little itchy doing the same old, same old in the marshals. And retirement was driving me stir-crazy. Just sitting around listening to the paint peel. I jumped at the chance to help you folks out. Alright, thank you so much for that. Okay. It's no lie that I've been looking to leave the marshals, but you're right. That's not the whole story. The Patriarch asked me to keep an eye on you, so... Here I am. Hmm. Maybe the little edge? And I am truly sick of retirement. But, yeah. I'm doing the Patriarch a favor, too. Not sure exactly. We came by a week and a half ago, and it was stone quiet. We were gonna get the place cleaned up before you got here. But then the Dorseys attacked the city, so it got put on the back burner. Something must have triggered the security systems between then and now. Could have been anything. Someone sneaked in, probably. Patriarch chased out the last big gang maybe... 10 years back? Before that... All kinds of bandits, militias, and cults have lived here since the deluge. Recently, it's been mostly outlaws and refugees. We should check around to see if there are any current occupants. Knew it. There was an item at the... Forgot if it's the first wasteland or the second. It's a nuke. I think if you trigger it wrong, it will explode, then you're all dead. Could be what set off the alarms. Around these parts, we call the nuclear apocalypse the Deluge of Fire, because, well, that's what it was. Noah's Flood was the Deluge of Water. The nukes were the Deluge of Fire. Mmm, okay. Gonzalez? He's a whiz with stuff like that. The AI will allow you to give the vehicle orders in combat without having to be incited. Basically, it'll become another member of your squad. Really? I'm not sure if it's good for me to pick that, so... Okay, what's next? I'm gonna leave it. My advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody can be great at everything. 
So pick recruits who are good at things your current team isn't. And you can always round out your squad with folks you meet along the way. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up. I'm looking more of weapon modding and armor. That is an energy. Defense of pistol. I can create someone again. Okay, uh, here we go again. Um, yeah, I'm gonna end the video here for now. I'm gonna focus on the next video with this guy. So you can like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Every time I see custom character creation, I'm gonna end the video and then focus on character creation. It's gonna take a while. Thank you.